Mom, I have great news. What is it, son? I just got my acceptance letter. To Arizona State? No, I don't even know if they send out acceptance letters. I think everyone just automatically gets in. Don't be dismissive, honey. You know that's where Troy's going. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just really excited right now. So, which college are you talking about? Stanford. Stanford? They accepted you? I didn't even know you applied. I didn't tell you because it was such a long shot. But I did a couple Zoom interviews with the acceptance board and I guess they really liked my personal essay. I'm going to Stanford! That is incredible! I am so proud! Thank you. But it is more expensive than I realized. I was able to get half the tuition paid through scholarships, but I wanted to make sure you were still okay paying the rest. Of course. We saved up enough for both you and Troy. I just wish your brother worked hard enough to get scholarships, too. I'm sure he can still find some. I doubt he'll put in the effort. Not like you did. Gosh, Stanford! I have to call your father! Thanks, Mom. So, Mom just told me. Congrats, I guess. Thanks. And you too. ASU has some really well-respected programs. Shut up. You don't have to always talk down to me. I wasn't. Sure. Look at me. I'm the smart twin who's going to Sandford. Everyone loves me. Pay no attention to my idiot brother. I didn't say that, and it's Stanford. Whatever. So, how'd you do it? How'd I get in? Well, I filled out the application and got some reference letters for my volunteer work. But I think it was mainly my personal essay. Dude, can I use it for my stuff? I need to write one of those. Of course not. It's personal. That's literally in the name. But we're twins. We have all the same life experiences anyway. Except you did all the boring academic stuff and I actually had friends. All I need to do is change some words around. You are not going to use my essay. Then I'll just have a look. I want to see how you wrote it. Don't you dare. Try and stop me. You're not home and I know your computer password. No, please! Well, well, well. I can see why you didn't want me to read it. Please don't say anything. So you're a poor gay man who's too afraid to come out to your conservative family. All you want to do is go to a school where you can finally be yourself really tugs at the heartstrings. No wonder they let you in. Please don't say anything. Why? What do you think will happen? You know what will happen. Mom and Dad will freak out. And they obviously won't pay for any of your tuition. Why would they pay money to a school that would help you unlearn a lifetime of shame? Isn't that what you said in your essay? What do you want? I'll do anything. Name your price. Hmm. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you on that. And in the meantime, I sure hope I don't accidentally blurt something out at the dinner table. Troy, I know we're not the closest brothers, but you have to keep quiet. If you say anything, you will literally destroy my future. Don't call me. I'll see you at home, Mr. Sanford. Hey, Michael. Why are you texting me at the dinner table? Why not? Mom and Dad won't notice. They're talking about the news or something. What do you want? Should I pass the potatoes? I want you to embarrass yourself. Huh? I'm bored and I want some entertainment. I want you to stand up and start singing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Can you do that? Why would I do that? Because you don't want me to out you? Seriously? You're making me sing a kindergarten song for no freaking reason? Yep, that's right. Ugh, fine. You're the worst. Bravo, man. Did you see the look on Mom's face? I hate you so much. Michael, you busy? Probably. What do you want? I'm having some trouble finishing my English essay. It's about Prince and the Pauper. Since you're so smart, I know you can help me. What do you want me to do? A thousand words about the main character and themes and stuff. It shouldn't take you too long. You read the book, right? Who am I kidding? Of course you did. You probably read everything Dickens ever wrote. Mark Twain. And yeah, I've read it. You should too. It's really good. Hard pass. I'm not going to read anything unless I absolutely have to. And since I have you, I don't need to read it. The paper's due tomorrow, by the way. But I'm busy with my own stuff. Oh, I see. So you're not going to help me. What a shame. I'd hate to have to say something to Mom and Dad. Something that would get them really, 
really upset. But I guess I have to. No. Okay, I'll do your stupid homework. I knew you would. See, that's why everyone thinks you're the smart brother. Because you know when to do what's good for you. Troy, do you have any morals at all? Do you feel even a slight twinge of guilt for threatening me like this? No, not really. There's this thing called karma, Michael. It's how God keeps everyone equal or whatever. You got all the nerdy talents, but he balanced it out with your big, embarrassing secret. I'm just making sure the scales tip in my favor a little bit. After a lifetime of being in your shadow, it's only fair. Right, fair. Troy, I'll do your homework and you'll get a good grade on it. I'll even add some spelling errors to make it seem like you wrote it yourself. But I will not feel bad about myself. I have a secret, but I'm not embarrassed by it. Don't think for a second that I'd change anything about myself. Careful, dude. It's starting to sound like you're talking back to me, and you do not want to do that. Fine. Whatever. Don't whatever me. I think you owe me an apology in addition to doing my homework. What? Say you're sorry for snapping at me and I won't talk to mom. Are you serious right now? Say it. I'm sorry, Troy. I misspoke. That's better. I expect the full essay in the morning. Hey man, you took Trig with Mr. Burnett, right? No? Oh, that's a shame. Then it's going to be difficult for you to finish my homework. You want me to do your Trig assignment? Yeah, and it's not really an assignment, it's just notes. What do you mean? Well, Burnett's been going off all year about how we need to take good notes throughout his class. I thought he was full of it, but apparently he's going to check our notebooks at the end of the week to make sure we've been keeping up. And do you want me to make sure your notebook has all the material? Exactly. Fine, give me what you have. I actually don't have anything. What? You want me to write a year's worth of notes for you? Can you? You have all week. Also, I don't have a blank notebook, so you might have to pick one up at the shop. It has to be college ruled. That's a lot. I know, but I need to pass this stupid class. Without all my math credits, I won't graduate. The stupid school thinks that math is so important. Like I'll ever use stupid quadratic equations in real life. That's algebra, not trigonometry. Shut up. I can't keep doing this, Troy. I'm exhausted. Sounds like a personal problem. I've already done your assignments for English, History, Bio, Spanish, and now Trig. And I've bought you new shoes. And I've done all your chores. It's too much. This has to stop. If you ask me, it's a small price to pay for our parents' love. And more importantly, your future tuition. I'm doing you a major favor by keeping my mouth shut. And the least you can do is finish all my homework and stuff. Fine, I'll do it. I'll spend all of this week writing the notes that you should have done in class for the entire year. But you have to tell me when this is going to end. I need some kind of deadline because if I'm going to keep being your slave forever, then I will have a nervous breakdown. Wow, you people are always so dramatic. So, when will this end? Never. Well, maybe once you graduate from college and no longer need mom and dad to support you in any way. I guess when that happens, you can reveal your little secret. But as long as you need me to keep silent, I will be using that to my advantage. Michael? Are you still there? What, no goodbye? How rude. Michael, honey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Because you're acting a little weird. You've locked yourself up in your room, and whenever you come out, you've been very moody. I know you're probably stressed before graduation, but this is your time to enjoy your last month of high school. You should be enjoying it. I know. I wish I could. Can you tell me what's been bothering you? No. Sorry. So something is bothering you. It's nothing. I just have some last minute assignments to work on. You never do anything last minute. I am now, but I'm almost done. Honey, is there something you're not telling me? Is it about Troy? No. Why? Because I see how you look at him. I know you two have never really gotten along, but I can see the hate in your eyes. Did he do something to you? Mom, please drop it, okay? I promise to be friendlier. Okay, just know that you can tell me anything. I know, Mom. Thanks for your support. What did you tell Mom? Nothing. She asked if I was okay, and I said I was working on school stuff. Really? 
because she pulled me aside and asked if I was messing with you. You must have said something. I didn't, really. She just noticed that I've been stressed out. And I am stressed out because of you. But I didn't say anything. Watch yourself, Michael. I am this close to going back on our deal. I've spent a total of eight hours this week working on your trig notes. I've done everything you asked me to do. You will not say anything. Damn it, Troy, I hate you so much. If there's even a single shred of humanity left in you, you'll drop all of this and just let me live my life. I'm wasting my last month of high school because of all the work that you're making me do and I'm pissed. I don't like that tone. I think I'm going to go have a chat with mom after all. If you do, you won't get your trig notes. I've almost finished them, by the way. Okay. Well played. But you're going to give them to me, right? Because it's due tomorrow. Yes. Good. Give me the notes and make mom get off my back. How do you expect me to do that? I don't know. You're the smart one, so you'll figure it out. You can hate me all you want, but you have no idea what it's like to be me, do you? I know exactly what it's like to be you. You resent me for succeeding while you fail. You hate how people react when they find out that we're twins. You blame me for all your failures, and yet you do nothing to make your life better. You're mean and unpleasant and deeply stupid, and you can't hide it. You know that our parents expect less out of you, and it eats you up inside, so you take this one tiny bit of power and you exploit it over and over to make my life miserable. And I have never done anything to hurt you besides merely existing. You've asked me to do a lot of stuff the last few weeks, but getting our parents to look past your clear and obvious flaws will be the hardest task yet. But I'll do it, because I need to keep you happy. Wow, Michael. That was a lot. I'll give you your trick notes in the morning. Mom, you, you asked if something was bugging me, and I kind of shut you down. I'm sorry for that, but I'm ready to talk now. Okay. Uh, what's bothering you? Mom, Troy found out something about me, and he's been blackmailing me ever since. Oh, dear. I've stayed up for literal hours doing his schoolwork. I haven't had a full night's sleep in weeks. I've written his essays and done his homework, and this last week I've had to fill an entire notebook with trigonometry notes for the whole year because he couldn't bother to do it himself. I'm seriously stressed out and really angry, and he's still not happy. After everything I've done for him, he says he'll still expose my secret if I don't somehow convince you to like him more. Whatever that means, I just can't do it anymore, so instead of tricking you like he wants, I'm finally going to be honest. Really? He did all that? Are you surprised? No, but it must be a terrible secret of yours. It's not. You and Dad will think it's terrible, but I'm not ashamed. That might be the worst part in all of this. I didn't do anything wrong, and I'm still getting punished. Mom, I'm gay. That's the secret. Honey... Now, I know your views on all this, and I don't expect you and Dad to change your minds. So if this means that I'll have to take out some extra loans to pay for Stanford completely by myself, I will accept that. It'll suck, but a lot of people like me have gone through much worse when they came out. The point is, I'm done with all the bullshit, and I just want to live my life again. Honey, uh, first of all, don't say bullshit. You know how I don't like that language. And secondly, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were going through all this. So you're not mad at me? I'm mad at your brother. Furious, really. But I'm not mad at you. So you accept me? I will. It's a lot to process, and this is not the life we envisioned for you. But if I had to choose between accepting a homosexual son and accepting a manipulative psychopathic son, i choose the former. I think all of us need to sit down and have a nice, long chat. So you won't be cutting me off? No. Your brother has actively tried to hurt you, and you've done your best to keep the peace. Okay, I may have struck back just a little. What do you mean? After all the work I did for Troy, he was still threatening me. So I erased a few pages of his trig notes and replaced them with a long letter to his math teacher explaining that I was the one who did all the work. I couldn't help myself. It sounds like he got what he deserved. Mom, I'm sorry if I disappointed you in any way. I love you, son. Let's talk tonight. I'm in the middle of my first semester at Stanford and I couldn't be happier. My grades are good, I love all my classes, and I finally have my first boyfriend. His name's Greg, an English lit major like me. He's a great guy. 
My parents still aren't accepting enough to meet him yet, but they will eventually. I have faith. Honestly, Mom and Dad have been really supportive after the truth came out. Dad freaked out a little, and Mom still uses the wrong terms sometimes, but they didn't cut me off like I'd expected. I grew up hearing them make little comments about the gay people they saw on TV, and I remember some of their really terrible sermons at church. But those views aren't nearly as strong as the love they have for their son. My biggest regret in everything that happened senior year was that I underestimated them, especially my mom. As for Troy, his math teacher read the letter I'd hidden in his notes. He brought it to the principal, and pretty soon Troy had been kicked out of school with less than a month before graduation. They took everything a lot more seriously than I realized. He's currently redoing his senior year at a charter school. I should feel sorry for him, but I'm kinda glad. As Troy would say, it was karma.